Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you for stopping by. I have a deck to go through with you. I've already seen this deck because I bought this a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago at the flea market. And um, it's a very cool deck. I got it for like, I don't know, five bucks or something. You can go online and get it, but you can only get it at that website. It's um, Lee Ann Peters is the uh, creator. I looked and I couldn't find it. I did find like a couple on, um, I think it was on eBay. But if you go through her website, she actually has a second part to this deck that makes it, I forget how many cards are in here, 55. I think she's got another 55 cards that you can add to this deck and you wind up with 110 cards. Um, they are supposed to work together, um, but each one can work on its own, you know, whatever. So these are healing energy cards. This is the second edition tools to help you self heal on all levels. And uh, this is actually a pretty cool deck. Um, healing energy cards contains 55 hand drawn cards and an info card that are full of healing energy. These cards can help facilitate your healing on all levels. Um, I don't remember seeing an info card. That doesn't mean it's not in there. Physical. So this, this, these cards can help facilitate your healing on all levels, physical, emotional, mental, and karmic. They can also activate your energy field to higher frequencies. Healing energy cards were created by author and artist, artist and healer, Leanne Peters, who says these cards are so easy to use and can help positively change your life. Use your cards as a therapy tool for meditation, reading, relax with them, and more. Based on art therapy, healing energy cards will evolve with you. If you desire to heal those old deep wounds, let go of the past, balance your emotions, clear your mind, be reminded of, of your life's mission, and so much more. Then these highly energetic cards may be just what you have been looking for. Get back in charge with healing energy cards. And it says here, I, I think these are Australian because of the, the it says AUD, Australian dollar, I'm assuming, and templeofbalance.com. I don't know if that's where I found them, but I think it might be. So I will um, link it below if I can still find it. Because sometimes things get weird, you know. But I, only, I look for them... Um, couple weeks ago because I've been meaning to make this video for a little while but then I did a couple other ones instead so you know let's see it says this is a info card but uh, there is no info card in here so that actually might be missing out of this either that or it's in here because I did put these in order they were out of order I put them in order I don't think you really need it though with with the way these cards are set up so anyway if Unless, like I said, unless it's in here and I'm missing it, but it's not. Okay. So, number one is enchantment. Now, I'm not going to read every single one. I think it would be too much. So, uh, connect with, with elemental and fairy realms. Lighten up and be joyful. Grounding and carefree. Great card for sleep and children. So, there's probably a way to use these cards because um, maybe that's what the info card is for. But it doesn't matter. I, I'm not, I'm literally going to be using them for oracle reading anyway for myself and for, you know, other people. So, you know, that's fine. I I don't really need it. I may get the second uh, part of the deck, though. I may get that second one. Number two, soul chakras. Balance, ground, and anchor the ideas, healing, and changes in your life and body. Feet planted on the physical world, getting to the root source of the situation. And I do like the art. The, art, the artwork is pretty cool. Three, expansion, star, galactic connections, reconnect with your star home, intergalactic travel to heal, expand your perceptions, gateway to other dimensions. Four, ancestral inspiration. And if you want to read it, you can just pause it and you can read what it's for. Self, uh, five, self-acceptance. Oh, this one's good. Assistance with weight loss, emotional baggage, block creativity, and stagnant sexual energy. True acceptance and self of self, stomach area healing, sacral and solar plexus chakra. Six, self searching. Seven, self love. Eight, emotional healing. Healing of emotions and the sacral chakra. Be cautious of emotional dramas. 
unfolding around you. Hold your center. Listen to your feelings. See, I don't think you really need anything more. These cards work fine by themselves. Yes, I'd like to have the, the info card just to see what that's about. Maybe there is a specific system, but for me, I think it'll work just fine. That's what happens when you buy something used. You're not always 100% you're going to get, you know, everything there. Uh, nine, accomplishment. Ten, mind thoughts. Oh, I like this one. Eleven, goddess awakening. It's time to walk through into the unknown. You are being guided to birth new things, to embrace change, and to welcome the power of now. I have to I have to go give Howie something. He's bothering me. I'll be right back. Okay. He wanted water. <laughs> and I'm like, I could have sworn I just gave him water, but he drinks a lot of water, so I figure I'd stop it for a second. Anyway, okay, spirit message. And this is number 12, and this says here Elohim. Pay attention to the messages, signs, and synchronicities. Chant to open the gates of manifestation. Universal wisdom, intuition, awakening. Listen to the guidance within. 13, meditation. 14, male support. 15, cycles of change. I like the artwork in these. It's fun, I think. Well, not fun. Um, it's not the word I'm looking for. It's interesting, and it's, um, I think, more, more deep. You know, like look, look at that. I mean, that's pretty deep. Um, 16, recenter, let go and allow flow. Step into alignment with the flow. Welcome the new into your life. Awaken your feminine beauty, emotions, and physical connection. 17, time tunnels. This one's creepy. <laughs> I, when I saw this, I'm like, oh, that looks creepy to me. Uh, karmic healing, look for teaching and the lessons from the past. Time to heal and move forward. Healing fears, time travel and time travel into past or future for healing courage wisdom and freedom uh 18 rebirth 19 healing now this one is harder to see because the way it's it is down here that's actually pretty hard to read i mean you can read it but it's tough to read that should be um blank like this is, or it should be a solid, I should say. That should be a solid color. 19, mental healing. 20, reconnection. 21, third eye opening. Deep, deep opening and healing of the third eye chakra. Trust issues and DNA master gland. Uh, awakening of intuition and ancient wisdom within trust the flow of life and trust in self open and expand this is kind of cool 22 healing hands 23 bridge between heart and throat that's an interesting one healing of the heart and throat chakra share from your heart past trauma seen as positive lessons in the now stay say what you feel 24, Spiral of Grace. 25, Stability. And I believe this is that um, big rock in Af um, Australia. I was going to say Africa. It's not Africa. Uh, what is it called now? I don't remember. But I, I believe that's what that is. I like this picture here. Looks like stars. Um, 26, Stillness. 27, Freedom. 28, white light. 29, lotus heart opening. 30, creation. Creative energy and ideas are around you. A window of opportunity exists. Welcome it into your life. Ignite your confidence to move to the next level. 31, reunion. Reunion. Instead of reunion, like getting together, this is different. Um, ancient wisdom awakened. Divine masculine power is emerging. Reunion of God with goddess. Yin and yang. Opening of the crown chakra. That's a cool one. 32, illusion. 33, rise of the phoenix. 34, blossoming. 
This is beautiful. Um, 35, Healing Guide. Now there's a name here that says Zaya. Do they all have that? Wilson. No, some of them have names and some of them don't. This one says Wilson here. Eight, what is it? 808 or, yeah, 808. Um, healing Guide. Opening the flow of love. Allow it to guide you with everything. Healing, inner beauty, opening of the, of the throat. Third eye and crown chakra. Meditate to Zia's, Zia's throat, seat of awakening. Now, I don't know if that particular, if that card that they're talking about would have more info. I can't imagine it being more than just one card and uh, having a lot of info on it. So that's I'm showing you the deck, but there is a piece missing. Um, so, you, uh, you know, but if you don't like the cards, you're not going to get it anyway. One, the, the info sheet or whatever it's called, the info or the guide card, what's it called? Uh, an info card. It's not going to, you know, change your mind. You know, I would have bought this regardless, so it doesn't matter. So 36, new life, little embryo. 37, cellular change. Now looks like embryos too. Fun. <laughs> uh, 38, new vibration. Grounding connection. You are moving into a new vibration. It's time to nourish the new as it grows within you. You are the one who must follow through, take action, and do the nurturing. 39, abundance. 40, sacred love. 41, observation. This is another one of those lighter ones that's harder to read. It's funny how most of them are solid, but then there's a few that aren't. There's probably more that I just didn't notice. 42, self-confrontation. 43, I am expanding. I mean, this one you can read pretty well. Some of those other ones are hard, though. 44, heaven on earth. Now this one, didn't we just see these characters? Hold on. I just want to... Yeah, we did. They're right here. So she used the same ones for this particular one. And this looks like a little baby there, right? Am I crazy? Hold on a second. I'm trying to grab it. Doesn't that look like a little baby there? It kind of looks like it to me. It says, The merging of heaven on earth, the manifestation of ideas into reality, combining of masculine and feminine, grounding, oneness, sacred relationships, twin flame reunion. I'm not wanting to hold Trump twin flame thing, but some people are, and that's okay. Uh, 45, the journey. 46, spiritual surgery. Deep tissue repair, re spiritual surgery on the body. Relax and allow the surgeons to help you. Physical pain, crystals for healing, self-healing, repair on all levels. Ask for help. I like that. And this has a name on it too here, Amelia. So some of them have names, some of them don't. Uh, 47, reflection. 48, playfulness. 49, truth. 50, support. 51, charging. I like all the crystals there. I love my crystals. 52, soothing. I like that. That gives me the three of cups vibe, right? The three women there. Actually, there's four there. <laughs> One's flying, so it's an angel. 53, inner child, release your old childhood wounds. Be wary of hiding how you feel. Let your feelings be heard. Support of the child. Allow your inner child to come out and play. Healing, explore, and truth. I love that. I really love that. This person's sad, but the child is happy. And you know, I don't know, that really does speak to me. Before everything happens, you know. Oh, that's beautiful. 54, manifest. And 55, Tree of Life. Life, balance, wisdom, simplicity, birthing of the new, earth goddess, free-flowing, sacral and base chakra, growth, everything coming together, faith, trust, and support. Now, I like that it has all this stuff here. So uh, you really don't need a book with these at all. And, of course, this is the back. I don't think I showed it to you, but here it is. Now, the back, I am not in love with the back. I don't like when cards have the name of the deck on them. I, to me, I don't know. It's I'm just not a huge fan of it. Uh, and this one here says healingenergycards.com. Maybe that's where I'll find the deck. <laughs> I will find it and link it below. I don't know where it is. Um, but I, that I don't like. I think if it was just plain, it would be so much nicer. 
okay but that is my opinion and i'm not the creator of the deck and you know she did whatever she thought was right but that's my own opinion on that so this is the healing energy cards by leanne peters i think it's a lovely deck um i like it i've used it a couple of times for myself and i used it more as just like a daily card and it was nice i i, I really do like this deck it's it's a it's a good deck. It's a good deck. I don't have that extra card, but I don't think that would matter in any way or shape or form to me. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day wherever you are. Take good care of yourselves. Um, blessings and thank you.